Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga 413. I'm Tani. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. We're going to be doing a short and sweet Yoga for Runners class. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I like to run at least a couple of days a week. And so this is my own personal yoga stretch that I like to do post run. So hopefully you love it. If you do, be sure and hit that like button and share it with a friend. Let's get started. So we're gonna begin on all fours. Your knees are right underneath your hips. Wrist right underneath shoulders. Let's flow through a few rounds of cow and cat, just loosening up our spine. So as you inhale, just look up, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, chin towards chest. And again, just move with your breath nice and slow. Again, if we just got done with a run, that midsection, that core could be a little tight. So we're just starting with our back first. So just a couple more times. Good. So now we're gonna tuck our toes underneath us. We're gonna go into a stretch for our feet. Walking back, your hips sit on your heels. And this can sometimes get a little bit intense. So just take your time. I want you to just take some nice, slow, steady breaths. And then we're just gonna bring one arm across and stretch in there. You're doing great. If you need a break, just sit up and then return back to the stretch. Let's switch sides. Just bring that other arm across. Good. Let's go ahead and come forward. You can release those feet. We're going to take it into a child's pose. Again, dropping our hips to our heels. You can take your, your knees as wide as you need to. Let's go ahead, lower down, stretch your arms forward, and just take some deep breaths here to stretch into that back, pressing into your hands. Good. Let's go ahead and come forward. We're going to find our first down dog. So just tuck those toes underneath you again. Lift your hips up and just slowly start to alternate bending your knees. Just get into the calves all down the back of the legs. Good. I want you to deeply bend that right knee and hold the stretch as you press your left heel down towards the mat. And in all these stretches, we're gonna just try to find stillness, find your edge, but we never wanna force a stretch. You just wanna feel it. And then just find that edge and try to hold. Now we're just gonna switch sides. So deeply bend the left as that right heel just comes anywhere close to the floor. Just reach down and hold. Go ahead and try to straighten both legs or maybe just a micro bend in your knees. Press that chest back towards the thighs. You're wide through your chest. Just relaxing both heels. Now we're just gonna start to walk your hands backwards towards your feet, towards the back of your mat. I want you to just go ahead and you can deeply bend the knees. Your feet are hip distance apart. It's like you're placing your belly on the thighs. 
You're just going to hang heavy. You're going to open up your hamstrings, cradle those palms and the uh, those elbows in the opposite palms. Relax your neck, your head. Now we're just going to gently just sway side to side, nice and slow. It's just a real nice gentle twist. And then just come back to center, take a few more deep breaths here. Maybe those legs get a little bit straighter. Just breathe into it. Go ahead and release the hands to the mat. We're gonna walk it back out. We're gonna come into a plank pose with fingers spread wide. Again, lengthening through the top of your head, press back through your heels. Let's come into down dog and you're gonna step your right foot forward. You want it uh, coming into your runner's lunge. So you want your front knee right over that ankle. I want you to slowly drop the back knee and then press that leg straight. Try it again. Just nice and slow. Last one. Good, go ahead and drop that knee to the mat. Just walk the hands back up to the knee and let's reach your arms up over your head and relax into your hip flexors in the front of that thigh. Now, if you want to uh, add on to this, you're welcome to stay here or interlace those hands except for the index fingers. Your thumbs are crossed and I want you to just lengthen and bend over towards that right side. This just takes it a little bit deeper into your stretch. So again, just find your edge and hold it. lift it back up take your hands down to the mat we're going to come into our half split so you're going to send the hips back pull the toes up off the floor coming into that stretch for your hamstrings you might want to stay here or some of you might want to go ahead and drop it on down again it just depends uh, where you feel this the most you never want to do anything that bothers your knees we're just coming into that stretch so just find the pose that works for you I'll do this stretch this side, then I'll switch it up on the next one. And we're going to go ahead and come back forward. Be sure again, knee over ankle. This time I want you to heel toe, maybe a foot, maybe two, once or twice, bringing your hands to the inside of the, the foot, that forward foot. So either holding here, keep relaxing down, or some of you might want to come on down onto your forearms. And if this is too intense, if you have a block or a pillow, you can always place that underneath the forearms as well. Now, if you're on your forearms, go ahead and bring your hands to the mat. I want you to just lift your toes up off the mat, so like you're flexing your foot, and then just drop that knee out to the side any amount. So here you could stay or maybe guide a little deeper if you feel like you have a little bit more space in that stretch. Again, you never want to force into any position. Just feel that edge and hold.
Good, start to lift that knee back up. Just heel toe back in, one hand on either side of the foot, step it back to down dog. You're welcome here to just move. Just pedal out your feet, bring any movement into your body that feels good. And then we're gonna repeat all of that on the other side. So bringing that left foot forward, just coming into that runner's lunge, knee over ankle, slowly drop the knee and then straighten that back leg. Try it again. Good, one more time. Good, now we're gonna go ahead and take that knee down, walk the hands up, maybe stay here or reach the arms up over the head. Now some people like to pat up their knee. My mat is thick enough, it doesn't bother me, but if it does bother you, I always tell people just roll your mat once, just flip it over. That helps, or you can place a towel or blanket under your knee. And again, you can choose to stay or interlace, lengthen up out of that spine, and then exhale it over to the left. Go ahead and come up right, taking that hands down. Gonna come into our half split. So this time I'll just gonna leave my hips over my knee, pulling the toes back, leaning forward, hamstring stretch. Come back forward, heel toe to give yourself some space, hands to the inside of that forward foot. Keep relaxing down or come on down into that lizard pose onto your forearms or onto a block. And when you come here, you're trying to keep that knee right over the ankle. So just hold, find that stretch, relax. Start to walk those hands back up. Again, flexing that foot. Just drop that knee out to the side. And again, you can guide it by gently pressing on that knee or keep both hands down. Bring it back, heel toe in and step back to downward facing dog. Once again, just pedal out those feet. So anytime I do long holds, I like to just add a little bit of movement in between. And then you're just gonna come forward and have a seat on your mat. I'm gonna take it more into the glutes now. So what you're gonna do is start with your feet on the mat. Then you're just gonna take that right foot underneath the left, placing it back by that left hip. And then you just slowly start to cross. Some of you might be right here, that's fine. We're working towards stacking our knees. Really nice stretch in that top hip. So again, this might be intense enough. If so, stay. If not, you're going to lean forward Find that edge and just breathe into the stretch.
let's go ahead and bring it back up. While we're here, we're gonna do a gentle twist, so just reach those arms up. And you're gonna twist right hand outside of left knee, just sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and untwist. Take the legs back to that starting position, switching sides, that left heel back to the right hip, working into your stretch, maybe eventually stacking your knees. You're trying to keep both sits bones down on the mat, either staying upright or begin to lean forward. Good, go ahead and just come back up. If you're not already, reach those arms up. We're just gonna go into that twist, turning to gaze over the shoulder. Good, let's come back. We're gonna go into a straddle stretch now, so we're just gonna take the legs wide. You're gonna try to keep your toes and knees up towards the sky. So again, staying here or start to lean forward. Just be sure as you come forward that the toes and knees stay up rather than come with you. So you're trying to work in opposite directions, taking the feet back as the upper body comes forward. So depending on your flexibility, you might be more comfortable even in this pose, uh, sitting on a uh, rolled up blanket. If you have really, really tight hamstrings, it helps to elevate your hips. So just a few more breaths here. Let's walk it back in. I want you to just start to walk the hands over to frame the right leg. Sit up tall, hinge over, over that leg, maybe walking the hands out. Start to walk it back, up, and over to the other side. Just focus on keeping that spine nice and long as you lean forward. It doesn't matter, again, how deep you come. I just want you to feel that stretch. Good, let's go ahead, walk it back. Let's bring the legs to just an easy, seated, comfortable position. Reach those arms up, bringing the hands to the heart. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for class. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a blessed day.